come in first thing in the morning and they say, turn on the birds, what are our birds doing? You know, have they hatched, are they, are they eating? Let's see our birds. Can you tell yet if, they're, if the babies are male or female? I can't really tell yet. I wrote a Donors Choose grant and, um, and I wrote it for the solar powered birdhouse that has a wireless camera inside. And once I wrote the grant, I let my parents know about it, the faculty, and there's even a, um, a Facebook connection capability. So then everyone that I'm friends with on Facebook saw it and it took off like wildfire. We got this through a company called Spy on a Bird and um, they are very generous to schools and educational institutions and it's sort of an integrated system you can buy from them. It's got the pole and importantly the predator guard to keep snakes and raccoons and other predators from getting at the eggs. And it's also got a um, solar panel and a battery down at the base so that the battery can power the unit for two or three days even if it's very cloudy or rainy, um, the battery will keep things going. Some of these children don't even know what's going on in their own backyards. So um, the project was to not only bring this into our classroom and fit this into our science standards, but the goal was for the children to then take what they see here and be able to take it outside and appreciate what is around them. Nothing but wood chips in there. And then the male would bring in twigs and little things and, uh, and then the female would fly in and it was almost like she was inspecting his work and we had a great time with that. We would say, oh, she's coming in saying, oh, this place is a wreck, we've got to do something with this. And the kids all thought that was hilarious. And he has like twigs coming in and little sticks and straws, and sticks and straws. And she was like fluffing her feathers back and forth and um, it was making a circle every day. When I walk down the hall, I can't make it four steps without a teacher coming to me and saying, look what we saw today, or listen to the project we're doing. Um, one of our first grade, te or second grade teachers actually, Miss Gloria Jenkins, did a project with her second graders, and they are actually keeping journals. And they're writing day by day. They put what day it is, the time that they observed it, and what they saw. Each child did research on bluebird facts and then they made predictions on when they thought the eggs would hatch. Um, when we go down to lunch, I put mealworms in a little bag and there's, a, there's this little bowl um, by the tree where the bird's nest is and I put them in there and um, she comes down and she gets them and then she um, feeds them to the chicks. We're actually able to watch, what, uh, watch the birds and and see what, how they grow up without disturbing them.